This a reminder. What's up everybody, it is Roy UJ and I am back again with another video. And we're talking about another concert. Now, if you watch my SZA concert review video, then you will know, I record this video, I rec I'm talking about the concerts that I attended and the merch that I brought um, all in the same day. So you're gonna see me in the same shirt in each of those videos, okay? Deal with it. But now we're gonna talk about Chloe Bailey. So the In Pieces tour. Um, I didn't even know that Chloe was even coming to Miami because I didn't really see her promote the tour that much and I didn't really see a lot of promotion about it. Um, she came here and she went to Revolution, is it Revolution Live, I believe? I've never been there before. And it's literally near like Fort Lauderdale Airport. So I'm never really over there. I'm never over there. So I, I didn't know that place even existed. But when I saw how I found out Chloe was on tour, and let me explain what's going on in the video. What I'm going to be talking about is my experience buying the tickets leading up to the show, after the show, the merch that I brought, my thoughts, my favorite part of the show, all of that. <laughs> so I've never been to this place before and it was it was like a, it was a nice place. I, I'm, I would say it was a nice place. It was hot, but it was a nice place. <laughs> I didn't even know, like I said, I didn't even know Chloe was going to be um, in concert. I, I had no idea. I know she was on tour, but I didn't know she was coming here because she had went out on the first leg of the show and she wasn't coming here to um, Miami or Fort Lauderdale or whatever. She wasn't coming here. And then when she extended the show, she added Fort Lauderdale uh, date. And I saw the ad on Instagram and I was like, is this like a club appearance or something like that? Cause I don't do clubs. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go, but let me see. It say the pieces to it. So I went in and went straight to Ticketmaster and it was like revolution. I was like, wait a minute, Chloe's on tour. The tickets are affordable. I wanna go. <laughs> so I ended up buying my tickets. Um, I ended up, cause I was kind of hesitant. Cause I was like, I've never been to this place. I don't know how far it is. Um, this is in an area that I've never been to. So I was a little hesitant on going, but um, I ended up going. <laughs> I brought my tickets and I went to the show. I was standing in line um, and everybody was dressed up really nice. Everybody was excited. We were all really, really excited to see Chloe. And it was like, no matter where you stood in that venue, you felt like, it felt like you was literally like, you was literally right there with Chloe. Like you was, it felt like you was on the stage with Chloe almost. It wasn't like a nosebleed situation or nothing. It was a little area where everybody go and, you know, you stand there, you can watch the show. I had a lot of fun. I kid you not. Um, I had just recently got into, it was on, a, the show was on the 10th and I had got into an accident, a car accident on the first. So I was kind of feeling pain from the accident. I was still emotionally and mentally kind of like messed up from that situation. And I went to Chloe's show and I was just like, I, I just want to have fun tonight. I just want to have fun. I don't want to drink no alcohol. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to look at Chloe and enjoy this moment. I don't know every Chloe song, but I know a few. And um, I was I was excited. I really was. So when I went, I was looking for an area to stand to watch her. And we I ended up going to the top floor and was looking down. But it was like everybody was just like stuck in this area so sometimes you gotta move like this to see it or you gotta move like that depending on who you were standing in front of because the head was big they was big so a lot of <laughs> you know so a lot of time it was just like and when i say big i'm saying like tall and stuff like that so it was just like you gotta do like this you gotta do like that so i, I ended up finding a, a area where i could actually look at her and chloe is just just as beautiful as she looks on social media is how she looks in person like like this girl when it comes to her and scissor they look exactly the way they look in their pictures like they do not look different like being there and me actually seeing them i was like you're real like you're actually <laughs> the person in your photos like this is really you so she's even more like drop dead gorgeous in person and she is a former okay um 
so many people it was young people that were there older people that were there it was like old older people that was there that knew the words and i was looking like wait a minute huh <laughs> you know the words more than i do and you're older than me like these i'm talking about old men old women like elderly and i was just like what but it was beautiful, it was fun. Um, my favorite part of the show is when she performed um, Body Do, because that's my favorite song. I love Body Do. Body Do, and she performed um, pretty much almost the whole album, to be frank. But Surprise is also actually another favorite of mine, so she performed that one. Those are my favorite parts of the show. And she even waved in our direction, like where we were standing at, me and other people. We was like waving and she kind of waved and looked up at us. I was like, oh my God, where that go? We waved at her. So it was fun. Um, now we're going to get into the merch. So I only got one thing um, because although I wish I would have gotten a poster, but I ended up just getting a shirt because the show, it wasn't, I thought it was over, but it wasn't, she was still performing. But you know, you gotta beat the crowd, so you gotta hurry up and get out before a bunch of people start coming. So I went and brought my merch and I'm getting ready to walk out and she's back on stage. So I went to the bathroom, came out, and I was like, wait a minute, I thought the show ended. So I'm just sitting there looking and I'm buying my merch and I'm just standing there just looking at her and then it looked like she was getting ready to get off stage, so I walked out and um, they had an after party for her. And I was so upset because I didn't know about it. And they didn't announce it until literally like right after she got off stage. It was like, hey, the after party. I'm just like, huh, what? So you're telling me she had an after party and I didn't even know. <laughs> and it was right there where the, the concert, the show was. I think it was next door or in the back somewhere or whatever. And I'm like, I could have went. I could have got a, probably could have got a picture with her or at least been in a video or something with her. And I was just like, dang, ne next time, maybe next time. <laughs> this is the shirt that I got. I love the shirt. When she posted the merch, I wanted to get it, but I was like, and I wanted to wear it there. But I was like, it's gonna be too late when it does get here. And um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fit it the way that I want to, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, how I want it to fit. So it's just like, oh gosh. So I just ended up buying it when I was there. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was it. I had, a, I did have a lot of fun there. Um, I wish, because I was gonna buy the tickets where you can actually get in early and you can meet her and talk to her and stuff. But when I did decide to get my ticket, when I paid, you know, when I got the money for it, sold out. <laughs> so I ended up having to get the general admission and i was upset about that because i was like i wanted to meet chloe i wanted to talk to her like take a picture with her like i don't even care like if i was able to just tell her that girl i love you girl i would have been all right with that you know even if it was just two seconds to just talk to her i would have loved that moment but they were sold out uh, <laughs> but um yeah we'll see you guys in the next video if you did attend in any of the shows you let me know i went to the one in fort lauderdale um so let me know which one you went to, what was your experience, how was it for you, what was your favorite part of the show, did anything interesting happen for you there? Some interesting things happened for me there, but we're not going to... Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I just did Scissor. Now I'm about to do the Renaissance tour, even though it's been like a month, but I'm about to do the Renaissance tour and get into my merch with that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.